Well, it's been over a year. It's been a few, actually. Yeah, actually it has. It was back in 2020 when we did one of these last. But we're back. It's time for another episode of, of Winging, Winging it. it. This time it's just Matt and I. But we're going to someplace fun. That you've seen us go to before a in few times videos. in other videos. But not on this series. Let's go check it out on the brand new episode of Winging It. Today's adventure brings us to Sicky's Garage, a place that we've gone many times because we really like the burgers. But they have a pretty massive wing menu with a lot of different flavors and some interesting ones. So we figured might as well try them out. So today that's what we're we're focusing on. We're not getting burgers, we're getting wings. So let's head into Sicky's and see what we can find. All right, Matt, so we just finished ordering. We got eight flavors of wings that we're gonna be trying. Plus a little bit of the hot sauce to try. Yeah, we gotta continue the tradition. So we are gonna be trying the hottest flavor of wings on Hell's the menu. Fury. Yeah, it's probably not gonna be fun, but we're gonna do it. Not on wings, but we'll, we'll dip the sauce. Yeah, we ordered some fries to go with them, so we'll try We are gonna that. try the sauce, but we did get four pretty unique flavors, I think, each, so. Yeah. Well, yours are more like classic. Well, I mean, mine are more Jameson's bizarre. not exactly. Oh well, yeah, classic. Jameson's a little different, yeah. And then I got like PB and J and some other interesting ones. So I think it should be a fun, uh, fun experience. Oh yeah. So we'll show you what we get when it comes out. All right, here are the flavors we have. We have bourbon, the Wild Willie style, PB and J, and here's the dry rub. And then Matt, those are your garlic parm. Uh, Jameson, probably? I would assume so. Maybe that's teriyaki. And that could be Jameson. That's the other one, and then the dry rub. All right, so where are you gonna start first? I'm gonna go garlic parm. Do it. Pretty good, not a heavy garlic flavor, but just a hint of the garlic with a, get the parmesan in there, definitely. How's the flavor of the actual wing? Cause that's another thing we have to judge is like, how quality bad, the like, wing is. It's not bad. It's a little tiny, but I mean, it's pretty good. They're not bad size. They're okay. definitely juicy. I'll give you that. Okay. So there's that one. That's the ranch. Here's ranch dry rub. It's a very subtle ranch flavor. Okay. Now, I'm assuming this is the Jameson or the teriyaki. I'm not sure. It's one of those two. Let's find out. Yeah, that's got to be the teriyaki. Because it's a usual sesame soy sauce flavor. Okay. Basic teriyaki sauce, so not bad. Okay. And then this is probably the Jameson. Probably. It's almost like a basic barbecue flavor. Okay. So if you had to rank those four, how would you rank them? Uh, well, ranch would probably be at the bottom just because it's a very subtle, you almost have to like really taste it. Okay. Then it goes Jameson, Emerson garlic, and then teriyaki. So teriyaki is your favorite? Mm -hmm. Okay, so very solid. Now I'm gonna do mine. We're gonna try each other's off camera, so you don't have to see us trying every single flavor. Um, but we'll include those in our final rankings when we get to that. So let me try mine next. All right, so which one are we going for first, Chris? I'm gonna start with the kicking bourbon. Definitely nice. It's a bourbon chicken kind of flavor. A little bit of heat, not much. Pretty mild, but it's just enough of a pop to cut in a little bit from the sweetness. The quality of the wings is good too. Not dry, good flavor of the meat, well cooked. Yeah, nice and juicy meat. Mm -hmm. I like the um, the flavor of the the wings themselves in addition to the fact that the sauce is good. <coughs> I and mean, the napkin, which is my, my wings are a little bit saucy, so I wanna make sure I yeah. have them pure. All right. Now we're going to try the Wild Willy sauce, which is supposedly their signature sauce. It's like a, a, a barbecue with a bit of kick. Pretty classic barbecue. It has a nice combination of heat and sweet. It's not, it, again, it's not really spicy, but it's got that little bit of a kick. So I appreciate that. This is the one I'm honestly the most curious about because it was one of my favorite flavors at Gators. They discontinued it. 
But now we can try it here. This is the PB&J. This one's really good. It tastes like you would expect it to. You taste the peanut butter, taste the jelly. It blends really well together. It's not a flavor combination you normally think of for wings. It works really well here. And we're going to wrap it up with the dry rub. I got Cajun dry rub. So let's try this one out. Not bad. I'm pretty sure this is the same seasoning they use on like their fries. It's pretty decent. I like it. I think it's a solid flavor, but I think the, the actual sauces are quite a bit stronger. <coughs> so if I had to rank mine from bottom to top, dry rub at the bottom, only because I just don't think it's as strong as the other ones. Second, I'm gonna go with the Wild Willy. I think it's it's a good combination of so that's barbecue. Third, main. third place, yeah. It's a nice barbecue with a little bit of a, a kick to it. But the other two are just more interesting to me. The second is the bourbon. If you like bourbon chicken, you'll really like this. It has a really nice flavor. pb and is awesome. pb and is by far the best flavor I've tried. So now we're gonna try each other's flavors off camera. And then we're gonna do the Hellfire sauce. So stay tuned. So this is the Hell's Fury sauce. <coughs> it's the hottest sauce on the menu. Matt is gonna try a couple fries dipped in it. You ready, Matt? <sighs> Good luck. Bottoms up. Bad. Woo. You immediately get that kick of heat. Oh boy. It's a rough one, sounds like. Well, they call it Hell's Fury, so. How does that compare to the other ones we've, we've tried in terms of the super hot ones? Probably. I mean, it was pretty close to that Buffalo Wild Wings sauce. That one was bad. That one was not pleasant. Oh boy. Yeah. I mean, that's about as hot as hot can get. Okay. Almost. So that's rough. Yeah. I'm so That's looking gonna forward be to doing like, it. What was it three peppers? Or I think four peppers is probably the most we've done, right? Something no, I mean I mean the the one we did at Buffalo Wild Wings was Carolina Reaper. So that one was really hot. This one's just ghost pepper. Well it's pretty close. I mean Okay. It's a pretty hot spice, so I mean you Ooh. can tell just by how you're talking that it's pretty bad, so Alright, I guess. I'm still getting that burn in my mouth. I guess I better get mine out of the way. Here you go, Chris. Why do I come up with these ideas? I came up with this idea for the show when we first launched it. I never regretted it since, but it's something we have to do. So here we go. Oh yeah. It's not terrible, actually. No, but you definitely get it's that hot. burn. No, no, it's hot. So you get what I'm saying when it's close to that Buffalo Wild Wings sauce? I don't think so. Well, in terms of spicy, yeah, I will say though, the flavor of that one is much more pleasant. Like when I first tasted it, it was, it, I mean, it's hot, but it's not like nasty hot. Like that's the thing with a lot of these like super spicy hot sauces. They're just <coughs> genuinely unpleasant. They're super spicy and not enjoyable to eat. I wouldn't order that, but it's not horrible. Like I didn't hate the flavor entirely. No, the flavor is not It's not bad. bad. It's just, but it's, uh, it's, it's hot. It's, it's really just the hot. spice really takes away from the flavor, in my opinion. I'm trying to remember our rating scale, which we also haven't used yet this episode, but we're going to use it now. It was Burning Hots or whatever it was? Yeah. I would say, on a scale of 1 to 10, that one's probably a 7. I'd probably go 7 and a half. It's like, it still lingers. Like, the side of my mouth is still pretty burning. But I think the... The one we had at Buffalo Wild Wings, which was the the Carolina Reaper one, is a little bit spicier. And that one, like, hits you in the face. Mm -hmm. This one, like, it's spicy and it lingers. It's not terrible, though. So, I'd say out of the super spicy sauces that we've tried, this one's actually one of the more pleasant ones. Yeah. That's not saying much, but it is one of the more pleasant ones. So, if you like a spicy sauce that's also not terrible to eat, it's not a bad choice. All right, we have finished our winging it adventure at Siki's Garage. So before we do our flavor ranking, let's uh, let's give an overall ranking to our wing experience at Siki's using our patented one to five finger licking scale because we didn't use it for the flavors, but we will for this. So the overall experience, Matt, what'd you think? I'll give it a four out of five finger licking. That sounds about right, actually, because I think all the flavors we tried were at least decent. And some right. of them were very good. Yeah, none of them were overly too bad. I mean, some lacked a little flavor, but 
that's to be expected with them. And overall, I thought the flavors were inventive. They were tasty. They're different from a lot of other places. We've that's tried. true. As I mentioned, the wings, even though they were tiny, they had a good juice quality to the meat. Yes, the the, the wings themselves were well cooked. They had some nice flavoring. They tasted good. They were yeah. they were generally pleasant to eat. So. I definitely recommend trying the, the wings at Sickies. It's tough because the menu at Sickies is so massive and there's so many things you're gonna wanna try, especially the burgers. Yeah, they have three different pages of just burgers. But the wings are definitely worth trying. So if you like some wings and you wanna try some unique flavors, definitely try them. And they definitely have a nice atmosphere to Sickies too. Oh yeah, we, we did a full review of Sickies on the big C or on our channel for Brosmas. So check out that video if you want our full opinion on Sickies Garage. But needless to say, we liked it because this is our, what, fifth time we've been? Fourth, fifth, somewhere around there. Yeah, we've, we've been a lot, so. Especially in the short time we, we've known about it. Yeah, we, we've definitely enjoyed it, so. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to rank all, well, not all of the sauces. We're going to do our top five just because we didn't want to do all of them. Yeah, a little bit too much. Yeah, there's a lot. So, Matt, what is your fifth place sauce that you tried today? I think it would be the Willie's sauce. I would agree with that. I liked that one a lot. I thought it was a nice, it was a nice barbecue with a tiny bit of a kick. And a nice it worked sweet well. as well, a little bit of sweet touch. Yeah. Uh, ended up dealing, taking it away from the heat, but not too much. It was kind of a perfect balance where like it was, it was a good amount of sweet, good, a little bit of heat just to give it a bit of a kick. It was a solid barbecue sauce. Agreed. All right, number four, what do you got? Parmesan garlic. I would also agree with that. I, I like the Parmesan garlic. Parmesan garlic, I feel, is one of the biggest hit or miss sauces for wings because it's so easy to overdo one flavor or the other. And I think this one did a nice balance. It's a little more subtle than a lot of the other Parmesan garlic. But it did just right. It was just the right amount. Like, it wasn't, you're going to kill somebody with your breath garlicky. But well, it also. some vampires anyway. Yeah, but it also, like, you definitely got the Parmesan. It was nice and creamy. Right. But there was just the right amount of garlic. So I, I liked that sauce Agreed. a lot. Agreed. thought it was solid. All right, here is where I think we're going to disagree a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what's your number three? Three for me was the whiskey barbecue. You mean the bourbon? The bourbon, yeah. The bourbon barbecue. Okay, bourbon. My number three is going to be the teriyaki. And I liked the teriyaki. It's a good teriyaki. It's not my favorite teriyaki sauce that I've tried because, I mean, teriyaki wings is a very classic wing flavor. They're solid. I definitely would say I prefer Buffalo Wild Wings teriyaki over this one and probably the um, Smoky Bones one as well. That one's really good too. True. But it's a solid teriyaki. If you like teriyaki wings, it's a safe pick. They're, they're good. It's definitely one of their better sauces. So I liked them. I mean, I know it sounds like I'm being down on them, but I did really like them. I thought they were, it was a really good teriyaki. So why'd you pick the bourbon? Uh, I just prefer the teriyaki flavor over the bourbon myself. Fair enough. So my number two is going to be the bourbon and yours is going to be teriyaki. teriyaki. So I picked bourbon number two because it's different. It tastes like bourbon chicken, which if you've ever had bourbon chicken at a, you know, a mall Chinese restaurant, it's really good. And it has a distinct flavor from it of it from other things. So personally, I liked that flavor. Again, it had a little bit of a subtle kick to it, which I liked, but it has a nice sweetness. So what did you like about the teriyaki for number two? Uh, it wasn't like an overly potent teriyaki, but it was just nice and subtle. Okay. And then our number one, we we pretty much hands down agreed. Like, as soon as we both had it, we're like, yeah, this is a clear winner. Peanut butter and jelly, for sure. You definitely get the peanut butter right away. And the jelly, just a little hint, but it's there if you taste it. It's such a good balance. Like, you get the sweet. They're both pretty sweet. Like, it's definitely like a more, like, Jif peanut butter. Right. It's, it's a, a sweeter. creamy peanut butter that you get feel when you bite into the wing but it's still there and it's potent like it's not like a hint of it you get like kicking your oh, mouth oh it's a lot of, it's it's a lot of peanut butter flavor and then the jelly just works really well the combination of the two it's a very indulgent sauce 
but it's one of those sauces where like I, I kept coming back to it every time it was just so good so I'd say honestly I liked the one at Gators that one's better by far mm-hmm the, the one Gators used to have was pretty good, but that that's easily the best of the peanut butter and jelly sauces that I've tried. Agreed. So there you go. That is going to do it for this episode of Winging It at Sticky's Garage. Matt, thanks for joining once again. No problem. We're going to hopefully do some more of these throughout 2022. Hopefully it won't take a year for us to make another one. But, you know, sometimes it's hard to find new wing places to go to although i have a, a decent laundry list so we'll, we'll get to as many as we can it's just also with covid going around we want to be safe and make sure no one gets sick and anything too absolutely so that's that's the other problem that's why it took so long for us to do one until 2020 so but yeah hopefully we'll have some more winging it episodes and of course more fast food throw down those are coming back too <laughs> Alright, so thanks for watching. New videos on this channel are three days a week unless there's a bonus video. So hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next episode of Winging It. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>